Hi there and welcome to our latest constellation video. Today we're going to look at Ophiuchus, the constellation that lies near the celestial equator. Its name means serpent bearer and it's now recognised by many as the 13th constellation in the zodiac. In fact, it occupies more of the zodiac area than quite a few other constellations that are in the zodiac. It also contains seven Messier objects because it's a large constellation. So let's look at the stars. Ras al -Haig, Alpha Ophiuchi, is the brightest star in the constellation with an apparent magnitude of 2.07, and it's about 48.6 light years away from Earth. It's a binary star with an orbital period of 8.62 years. Sabic, or Eta Ophiuchi, is the second brightest star with a combined visual magnitude of 2.43, and it's approximately 88 light years distant from us. And Zeta Ophiuchi, the third brightest star, is an extremely large blue main sequence star with an apparent magnitude of 2.56. It's about 366 light years distant from us. And it's a fast rotator spinning close to the velocity at which it could begin to break up. It's estimated that um, Zeta Ophiuchi's rotational velocity could be 400 kilometers per second. Yed Prior. Delta Ophiuchi is a red giant with an apparent magnitude of 2.75 and about 171 light years from the Sun. Cell Balre, which is Beta Ophiuchi, is an orange giant with a visual magnitude that ranges from 2.75 to 2.77 and it's 81 light years away from us. And Barnard Star, a red dwarf about six light years away, the fourth nearest known individual star to the Sun after the three components of the Alpha Centauri system. Um, and the closest star in the northern celestial hemisphere. It has an apparent magnitude of 9.5, so don't go looking for it with a naked eye. May I just take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to this channel? Uh, subscribers mean an awful lot to me, so please just click on the subscribe and uh, you'll keep being updated with all our regular videos which we're putting out about once a week. Thank you. Kepler's supernova, which is supernova or SN 1604, is the remnant of a supernova observed in October of 1604 by the German mathematician and astronomer Johannes Kepler. He observed it initially in Prague on October the 17th that year and tracked it for an entire year. The supernova occurred 20,000 light years from Earth and it reached a peak magnitude of minus 2.25 to minus 2.5 and it was brighter than all the stars and planets in the sky and could be seen for several weeks. It's the most recent supernova to have occurred in our Milky Way galaxy that could be seen by the naked eye. Deep sky objects, so we have Messier M9, a globular cluster with an apparent magnitude of 8.42, about 25,000 light years from us. Messier 10, another globular cluster with an apparent magnitude of 6.4, about 14,000 light years distant. And Messier 12, yet another globular cluster discovered by Messier himself in 1764 with an apparent magnitude of 7.68 and this one is 15,000 light years from us. And Messier M14, another globular cluster 100 light years across with a visual magnitude of 8.34 but it's 30,000 light years distant. M19, Messier 19, is yet another globular cluster with an apparent magnitude of 7.47, 28,000 light years from the solar system. And Messier 64 is, guess what, it's another globular cluster. Again discovered by Messier himself in 1771, it has an apparent magnitude of 7.39 and it's 22,000 light years away, again about 100 light years across. The final Messier object is 107, M107, and yes again, it's a globular cluster. Um, it is a loose cluster with an apparent magnitude of 8.85, about 20,000 light years away from us. And it was only added to the Messier uh, catalogue in 1947 by the Canadian astronomer Helen Sawyer Hogg. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at Ophiuchus. Quite an interesting constellation, particularly now it is being classified as a zodiac constellation. Till next time, take care, dot skies, bye for now, and thank you for watching.